I'll let you off. <laughs> now, first of all, do you want to call you Rob or Robert? What do you prefer? Call me anything you want. R anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rob, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this craziness? Because this is it. It's the beginning, isn't it? Y yeah, it's, uh, well, I don't know if I'm ready for it or not. I guess so. I mean, <laughs> so, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I guess I am ready. Because you're experiencing it already, but when the movie opens, it's just going to go crazy, isn't it? I know, it? but I don't really understand how much further it can go. Because, I mean, I'm go I've been going around the world promoting it, and every single city you go to, the people are waiting in the airport. Like, everyone's screaming the entire time. I was in Mexico City a while ago, and I got stopped in customs, and they were searching my bag, and when the automatic doors came open, and all these people started screaming outside, and I was having my bag searched. And it's just like, I thought there was a bomb or something going off. I just think, I mean, where can it go? Where can the where can where can the hype go? I mean, unless I just get shot or something. <laughs> like, I mean, that's what I'm afraid of. Now, in the book, um, Edward is described as too beautiful to even look at. Hmm. So, what's what's that pressure like? I mean, obviously you're a really good-looking guy, but that's a huge pressure. What's that like? Uh. Yeah, I mean, I kind of I thought it was even embarrassed. I thought it was embarrassing to have even turned up for the audition you know when you just read the you read the character breakdown it's like Edward is yeah he's like it's, he's too beautiful to even look at and then like <laughs> they turn up for the audition like hey <laughs> I think I'm great for this part uh, your I mean, friend's been ribbing you about that I don't think they even really know what it is yet I just sort of said like oh I'm going to Oregon to do a vampire movie and they're like all right I'll see that. <laughs> like, uh, well, they're about to find out yeah I think I probably will get it yeah I think they'll find my, my dazzle look quite funny. <laughs> Everybody else did. <laughs> they were just like, hey. You perfected it. Now. Yeah. <laughs> now, the chemistry between you and Kristen is amazing. Mm. What did you do to kind of perfect that? Because I read that you followed her around for days and you proposed to her. Is this true? Oh, yeah. We were going to get married for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> what about her boyfriend? Did he know? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> what about the boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, what about the boyfriend? <laughs> so have you really got a big crush on her? Well, I've, I have no idea. I mean, like, she's a really good, I mean, she's a friend of mine. I mean, I don't really have well, a... Well, you really got no idea. You must know... Well, I mean, I have to, like, I have to, like, have... I, well, I mean, I was in this, like, kind of weird world where I'm just sort of, like, you know, for, like, five months convincing yourself, like, this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl, it's the only thing you need in your life, it's the only thing you need in your life. <laughs> just like, so now it's, it's kind of awkward now. <laughs> so it's all, you've become obsessed because you're acting like that. Yeah, no, it took me a long time to get out of it. I mean, it's the, it took like two months to, to to kind of, you know, to stop to stop introducing her as my fiance. 